to the Magic Box, where we help you to have fun and learn some things along the way. I have a special guest with me today, Mr. Swami Wami. Give him a big hand. And first we have our Magic Box victims, I mean our volunteers, they're all here. <laughs> They're going to learn that we actually do tragic, I mean, uh, magic, right here on the Magic Box. I'm John Carrington, and I want you to stay tuned for the Magic Box. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. something along the way. I'm going to talk about friendships today. Friendships. Friends are people that you have fun with. People that you enjoy being around. Bullies are people who make friendships very difficult. Bullies are people who make it horrible for everybody to be around them. Bullies burn bridges. Well, but let me explain it this way. When you open your heart to a bully, at some point, they burn the relationship. Bullies mess it up for everybody. So I, my suggestion is that you don't be a bully. Be a bridge builder rather than a bridge burner. If you walk across a bridge and then you knock it down, you can't go back. Nobody wants to be stranded alone in this world. Nobody wants to be hated because they burn bridges. Everybody wants to be loved and cared for. So if you know a bully, suggest to them, it's nice to be nice. Everybody say, it's nice to be nice. It's nice to be nice. One more time. It's, it's nice, nice to be nice. nice. Who said it's nice to be twice? <laughs> it's nice. Okay, you didn't say that. Okay, I thought you made a new one. <laughs> Every now and then the kids steal the show. <laughs> Bullies make you cry. They do dumb things that make it hard for everybody. Difficult things. Bullies make it very difficult for everybody. But people who understand how the world works know that at some point you have to turn those lemons into lemonade. You have to make things happen that help people. Ah, 
Yes, this is the kind of magic I like. The magic that it's very visual. Because see, with visual magic, you can see things happen. And when you have friends, they can see that you're friendly. In order to have friends, you must be a friend. Everybody say, be a friend. Be a friend. Be friendly. Be friendly. That's always the goal. If you have a friend, you go to McDonald's or, or, or it's one of the places that sell food and, 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 you, and you get yourself a straw. And, and that straw can be a real learning situation for everybody. It's a real learning situation for everybody. One, two. <laughs> sharing, sharing. This is your straw. There you go. Wow. I can, share a I can share with a friend how to do that. Why? Because I'm not a bully. Bullies like to share. I mean, bullies don't like to share. Bullies like to push people around. Uh, would you help me? Would you help me? Uh, are you okay? All right. Okay. And, and what's your name again? Jaron. This is Jaron. I'm going to teach Jaron how to spin the wand. Okay. Spin the wand. Now, Jaron, you do the same thing with a straw. Do the same thing with a straw. Okay. All right, Jaron, there's a straw. Okay. Uh, you're just taking a friend to the restaurant. You're going to show them how to do this trick, and that'll make you a friend because you're sharing. Everybody say sharing. Sharing. Okay, Jaron. It's like a big piece of chalk, and you're going to draw on a chalkboard. So go like that. Very good. Jaron is left handed. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Now, Jaron, go the other way. Yeah. Very good. Jaron is bilateral. <laughs> All right. Now, Jaron. This time, as you draw the big circle on the blackboard, on the chalkboard, you go around like that. Okay, go around. Very good, very good. Now, Jaron, when this, when this magic wand on your straw gets to the low part, you just let it swing out like that. Bring it around. Let it swing out. Very right. right, good, you have a nice hand. He's doing exactly the opposite. Yeah! Yeah! Gift for you. Jaron will go anywhere because when you have goals, you get the gold. Jaron, this is all yours. Once you have this genuine, genuine, solid gold, solid gold plated plastic coin. This is all yours, Jaron. This is the cheapest, I mean, nicest, uh, nicest corn that we could afford here on the Magic Box. This is all yours, Jaron. Thank you. There you go. It's all yours, Jaron. Because when you have goals, We'll be back with more. Searching for treasure the whole time. Mm -hmm. Tons of fun. Mm -hmm. Take them out all the way from April until uh, until it gets too cold out and around November time. 
Uh, I've been working with Peppercorn for about five minutes here and trying to get him to stop being a bully. <coughs> Peppercorn, Peppercorn the pirate. Tell the boys and girls why it's not good to be a bully. Oh, uh, well, it's not good to be a bully. Uh, well, pirates always share. You know that, right? <laughs> pirates do always share. It's a, it's a dem democracy around the pirates. The oh, uh, okay. only reason we have a good captain is because you, you pick out the captain. He's got to be a nice guy. And so, a bully, you know, you know, you're not going to get anywhere. I like this pirate, man. He's the only one that's ever said that. All right, that's I like true. that. That's true, man. Let's keep along that vein that vein of thinking here. Uh, when they board your ship, uh, how, how does that work? Uh, no one really boards the ship. I uh, gotta keep good weapons around. Uh, keep <laughs> good defense about. You understand? Uh, good offense is a good defense. You know, things like that. Uh, uh, truth in selling. Yes, that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> So if you get invited to board a pirate ship, uh, it's a one-way ticket. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. That sounds like bullying to me. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about that. We're still working on them. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I believe you're trying to change uh, to being a good guy rather than a bully. Uh, tell us about the tour. Oh, the uh, can go on. instead of just telling me, why don't I just show you? Come on, let's go onto the ship. Hey. Pirates are bullies. Um, now I know. <laughs> so, Peppercorn, you want to tell us about the tickets? Oh, I right, we've got some tickets to give away. We do family adventure cruises on the ship, and I've got a couple tickets to give away for that family adventure cruise so you can come out and be a pirate with us. All right. All right. Is there contact uh, information? Oh, sure, us? sure. Right. You can look us up on the interwebs. Uh, it's uh, urbanpirates.com, and of course, we're down at Fells Point all the time. You can tell them, check out the pirate ship. All right. Well, thank you, Peppercorn Pirate, for being a part of the show. Yeah, give him a nice hand. Yeah, thank you. having a lot of fun talking about being a friend. Being a friend. Everybody say, be a friend. Be a friend. Be friendly. Be friendly. In order to have friends, you must be friendly. Everybody say, be friendly. Be friendly. Don't be a bully. Don't be a bully. Right. We're, 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 we have here a wonderful, wonderful friend. This is Swami Wami. And Swami Wami, just like me, is mental. That's right, he does mental stuff. <laughs> Okay, anyway, uh, uh, Swami Wami, you have some hermetically sealed envelopes. They were sealed hermetically in Fells Point. That means that they were sealed hermetically in Fells Point. So, I want you to uh, hold that envelope up to your forehead, sir, and I want you to visualize what's in that envelope. This is just how mental he is. He's going to read what's in those envelopes before he opens the envelope. Ha-ha! All right. 
Listening to the envelope, it's speaking to me. It says it's glad not to be on the pirate ship anymore. <laughs> it's okay. Sis, boom, ba. Sis, boom, ba. I had one of those at an Indian restaurant and it had curry powder on it. Shish, boom, ba. Shish, boom. Is that the envelope? Pieces. What did sound did the sheep make just before exploding? Shish, boom, ba. <laughs> that makes sense. Hey, come on, I say it. Swami, Swami. It's an echo. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that, one, that one was a blast. Okay, now, <laughs> keep going. All right, I have another one. Swami, Swami, here's square. Square. That's where I got lost when I was in fifth grade on a trip to New York. I got lost in Herald Square. <laughs> Square. Might be that. Might not. What is SpongeBob's middle name? <laughs> okay, we're on a roll, Bob. We're on a roll. <laughs> yeah. We are on a roll. We're going over on a square. <laughs> okay, all right. Anyway, SpongeBob is one square. You can't get lost on. <laughs> all right. Here's our next envelope. This is amazing. I am totally flabbergasted at your ability to do this. Nickdy and Dislodian. Nickdy and Dislodian. Nickdy and Dislodian. Sounds like a cure for smoking. Nickdy and Dislodian. I'm cured. What would you call Disney merged with Nickelodeon? Dislodian. <laughs> <laughs> I could be butter, because I'm on a roll. <laughs> okay, this is the last one, and of course, the best. I see frozen mouth. Frozen mouth. Frozen mouth. That's what I had last winter when I stuck my tongue onto a cold steel pole for no good reason. <laughs> and it still works very well. Yeah, your tongue, your tongue will stick. <laughs> what if Anna kissed Elsa's hand? Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And if we all become mental like you, we will understand these. Give me my hand. Mental all my life. Uh, I, 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 yeah, we all know. Yeah, get on. <laughs> We're going to take a break and be right back with more of the magic box. <laughs> Look, we'll be right back with more of the Swami Mommy Magic Show. All right. Welcome back to the Swami Wami Magic Show. I'm John Carrington, and this is my good friend Cleo, the Bengal White Tiger. Hi, Cleo. Hello. <laughs> this is Cleo. And Cleo, where'd you get that name, Cleo? Oh, I named that the Cleopatra. Cleopatra, Queen of the Nile. Oh, my goodness. Well, Cleo, uh, can you do any magic tricks? I sure can. Oh, what trick are you going to do? I'm going to get on a flying carpet. A flying carpet? Yeah. Well, we want to see that. All right, we'll do that right now. Oh, okay, John. Watch this trick. Up, 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 and away. Oh, hi, boys and girls. Look at me. I'm having so much fun. Whee! Oh 
my goodness, Cleo, you made that carpet fly through the air. I sure did. <laughs> Cleo, you're magical. Well, thank you. Welcome back to the Swami Wami Magic Show. I'm John Carrington. Our theme, of course, is to be a friend. Be a friend. Be humble. Don't be a bully. Everybody say, be a friend. Be a friend. Be humble. Be humble. Don't be a bully. Don't be a bully. Now, when I was a child growing up, uh, I, I, I was picked on a little bit. I was picked on a little bit because I was short. They used to call me Shorty for short. But I eventually learned to exercise and build up my strength and put on some muscles, and pretty soon the bullies went away. Also, I developed a sense of humor. I could laugh at myself. Therefore, there was nothing to bully because I was having as much fun as the bully. <laughs> And one of the things I used to do was magic tricks, and here's one of my favorite tricks. Uh, I use I use a, a deck of cards for some of my tricks here. And uh, uh, ah, Swami Wami, would you help me here? Sure. I pick out nine cards. Swami Wami, pick out nine cards there, and any, anywhere from in the deck. Pick out nine cards here. Anywhere in the deck. Just count out nine cards for yourself, Swami Wami. Swami Wami's count out nine cards. Uh, that'll take nine hours. Come <laughs> set <laughs> <laughs> Nine, nine, thank you. Okay, Swami Wami got the nine cards. Okay, Swami Wami, I want you to uh, de deal those cards into three piles. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. De deal them into three. Face down. Yeah, face, face down, down. Face, face down, face down. down. Okay, one, two, three, and then on top of that. Uh -huh. Yeah, you go, you go, one, 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 two, three, and I'll do it again. And then one, two, three. Now he has three piles of cards here. Swami Wami, pick any one of those three piles. And just take them and uh, hold them against your chest so I can't see them. All right, any one of those three piles. Okay, yeah. You got the middle one? Okay, good. Now he's got the middle pile. Swami Wami, I want you to look at those cards and pick out your favorite. And I want you to show the, your favorite card to the boys and girls. Pick out your favorite card, show it to the boys and girls. It's not difficult at all, but I take this one. Okay, put it on the table. Put it face down on the table so I can't see it. Just show it to the boys and girls. All right. Yeah, there's the one. All right, now put the other two on top of it. Okay, so I can't even see the back of the card. Now pick up those cards and put them on top of here. Now, Swami Wami, for the first time, I want you to tell me the name of your card. And oh, by the way, you don't have to tell me the truth. You can make up a card. It doesn't matter because what's going to happen is amazing. All right, Swami Wami, what was your card? Tell me the truth or tell me, tell me a fib. It doesn't matter. What was your card? I believe it was the King of Diamonds. King of Diamonds. Now watch this. King. K. I. N G of O F Diamond D I A M O N D. Now, for the first time, Swami Wami, were you telling me the truth or something false? Truth or false? And again, it doesn't matter. It may be false because I didn't have to remember it altogether. False. <laughs> okay, false. F A L S E. That's your card. It was diamonds, I was in yeah. it. This is a trick that you can do at home, and I'm going to reveal to you how to do this trick right now. So get out a pencil and paper. No, matter of fact, it's so easy you can remember it yourself. <clears throat> you always spell the name of the card exactly as I did here. The only difference is that when you spell a red card, like hearts or diamonds, you drop the S. Heart is H-E-A-R-T. No S. Diamond, D-I-A-M-O-N-D. And mathematically, this trick works for no other reason than I don't know. <laughs> but with any nine cards, if you have three cards in that pile, three cards in that pile, and three cards in that pile. That is a magic number. Nine is a magic number. You pick any one of those piles, pick out the favorite card, show it to the audience. Remember this time. Okay. Put that card on the table. One that's your favorite, put it on the table first. You notice that's the card that hits the table first. Put the other two on top. And then when you put the other cards on top, mathematically, if you spell out the words, uh, uh, king of diamond, king of heart, 
king of clubs, finesse on it, king of spades, with finesse on it, it'll come out. All right, now I don't know what the card was that you picked, but we're gonna do it again. And we're just gonna pretend you said um, king of spades. Watch this. K I N G of O F spades S P A D E S. Will you tell me the truth or something false? And by the way, if you notice the word truth has five letters in it, and the word false has five letters in it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, uh, you don't no, no, tell me the truth. Or you tell me uh, what was your card? Uh, you tell me, tell me, tell, would you, would you tell me the truth or something false? Something false. False. F A L S E. That's your card. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> If you have a bully, maybe if you started uh, laughing at yourself and also maybe sharing a magic trick or two from the magic box, maybe you can make that bully into a friend. Everybody say, it's best to be a friend. It's best to be a friend. friend. Don't be a bully. Don't be a bully. Well, we're going to be right back with more of the magic box right after this. Don't go anywhere. Myself. It's a different approach to doing my magic, and we're going to have more of this in the future. So don't change that dial. Don't change that channel. We'll be back with more Swami Wami magic. See? <laughs>